blueberries coming in from Mexico. The Florida blueberry industry is doomed. Hurting local farmers. It's a dying breed. And your tax dollars are helping put them out of business. McGivern with ABC Action News. For decades, the University of Florida has worked to create new types of blueberries to help Florida farmers make a living. The university then sold the rights to grow those same blueberries around the world, including Mexico, a direct competitor to Florida. It's a way of life. Farming's the only thing I know. People are all over trying to find new ways to supplement the loss due to citrus. Bo Snively is a fourth generation farmer in Polk County, Florida. His orange crop hit by citrus greening disease. So he got into the business of blueberries. It's just harder and harder to turn a profit. For farmers like Bo, blueberries used to be a big money maker. For a few weeks early in the season, Florida was once the only place producing blueberries. We're talking in the world. When I got in, it was like, I mean, blue gold, that's what we called it. It was blue gold because uh, the money was incredible, the returns were incredible, the competition wasn't there. That blue rush, farmer Bill Braswell says, was about 20 years ago. Today, he worries if the industry will even make it another five. So we compete with uh, countries that didn't grow blueberries 10 years ago. The main competition is from Mexico. Mexican blueberry imports to the U.S. have nearly tripled in the last three years. That blueberry boom worth $220 million in 2017, according to the USDA. Mexican blueberries are also cheaper. How big of a price difference are we talking here? It's usually, you know, $4 difference by weight, usually by the pound. I hear the struggles of our farmers knowing that if they charge, you know, $6.99 a pint, you know, people aren't going to want to buy it. I think part of the reason is uh, because the University of Florida set us up for it. I've confronted the university. I've spoken with the dean of research. Uh, the president of Florida Foundation Seed Producers numerous times on this. I told them how I thought, how I thought the process was unfair, not just to Florida growers, but to the citizens of Florida. So why are blueberry farmers blaming the University of Florida? It all started right here at a lab run by Dr. Patricio Munoz. As a breeders, we are inventors. Munoz heads up research on blueberries at the university's Institute of Food and Agricultural Science. And that way we can measure how firm the fruit is. He's in charge of building a better blueberry. So basically, we look at all these different traits, you know, the capacity for this fruit to hold in the supermarket for longer. We develop the fruit or the food that you guys are going to be eating in the supermarket, you know, in a few years. For decades, Dr. Paul Lyrene developed dozens of blueberry plants designed to thrive in Florida's humid climate. The university is behind more than 90 percent of all blueberries grown in Florida today. The lab's mission was always to help Florida farmers make a living by growing better crops. But then the university sold the rights to grow those same blueberries to farms in Mexico. And it's like, well, wait a minute, it's Florida tax dollars. It should be going to help Florida. Taxpayers forked over nearly half a billion dollars in the last three years alone to support the university's Institute of Food and Agricultural Science. The system has been rigged against us from day one. Florida farmers must pay to grow these blueberries, 30 cents per plant to the university's nonprofit, which also licenses to foreign farms. The university now licenses the rights to grow its blueberries to farms in Mexico, Argentina, Brazil, Chile, Peru, and Japan. It's the simple fact they couldn't have the vision to see that if they gave it to everybody else in the world, they would turn around and use it against us. We could see it as growers. We knew it would happen, and we just can't compete. John Butenmuller is in charge of the nonprofit deciding who gets to grow the University of Florida blueberries. In a country like Mexico, where we know that there is a potential competitive threat to, to our Florida industry. And if Florida farmers are the priority, 
Why license to other countries at all? Our varieties uh, and our, our licensing program is done out of the, the protection of Florida growers. That's right. The university says it licenses its blueberries in foreign countries to protect Florida farmers. Florida growers are our, our stakeholders. They're, they're the reason why uh, this research endeavor exists. Okay. And then, sir, if you can count to five for me. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Well, my title is Senior Vice President of Agriculture and Natural Resources at the University of Florida. Does the university contribute to that competition from Mexico? No. But how do you say that? Because it's impossible to stop international theft of plants. You can't stop any country from using it. So we're trying to control it and make money to put back into the industry. The university took in more than $5 million in blueberry royalties last year. 70% of that money goes back into the blueberry breeding program. I just want to reference um, one article that you had written about a year ago, specifically on this topic. Florida growers don't fear international competition, but they reasonably ask for it to be a fair fight. Do you feel they have a fair fight? Oh, absolutely, yeah. What do you say to farmers who say the University of Florida is helping put them out of business? Well, it's not true. This is not an issue. Uh, in Florida, 99% uh, of the people understand it. Okay, my name is Edward Livingston. I'm with the Livingston Law, Fleur Law Firm. Patent attorney Edward Livingston disagrees. I wasn't aware of it before you brought it to my attention. They're requiring these farmers to pay money into the program that is then taking money away from them. And so you were surprised to hear that dynamic? Yes, I was, very much so. Livingston says the university could ban its foreign farmers from sending blueberries to the U.S. during Florida's picking season. Because a patent gives you the right to control the importation, to require them to pay royalties and then turn around and basically uh, put in the business a competitor, a competitor who can sell the product at a lower price and hurt the very farmers uh, in this state. Being a, uh, a small farmer, it's a heritage, and I would like to see that live on. The University of Florida does play a role here in the state of Florida. And the research they do has helped out the blueberry industry, but they're also benefiting other countries as well, which is killing the small farmer.